there is fear in the crypto world right now there are rumors that our favorite cryptocurrency xr ripple will soon be taken off the market which makes crypto buyers very worried there are rumors that the sec is getting ready to launch a massive attack on our favorite company and cryptocurrency and they won't be gentle let's find out what's really going on is this really true let's get into it not a many some people in the xrp community are still very confused about why there haven't been any sec discovery motions in a past full of contentious court cases unexpectedly there has been no response this has caused a lot of confusion and uncertainty about the direction of the ongoing sec cvs ripple lawsuit the sec can ripple at odds over how to classify xrp which is ripple's digit the sec said that ripple sold xrp as an unregistered security and that its leaders were making money off of this this led to a court the main problem is how xrp is classified as a security versus a uh, cryptocurrency to protect investors securities are governed by strict rules cryptocurrencies on the other hand are unique and are governed by different rules recently it was very important for ripple to show that xrp is a cryptocurrency and not a security this is why if xrp is labeled as a cryptocurrency it may be subject to less strict rules which could help prevent charges of selling unregistered securities besides that more users and buyers are interested in crp because their sure it is legal also not having to follow strict rules about securities lets people focus on technology and solutions it also creates opportunities for partnerships and growth and removes regulatory doubts showing that xrp is a coin and not a security this is good for ripple and the xrp community it makes things clearer for growth and new ideas in the crypto world without the legal problems that come with being seen as a security that being said one of the most well known crypto experts as the discussions have added fuel to the fire of speculation his thoughts are similar to those of many people who are thinking about two possible paths there is a chance that there will be a settlement after the siki gets the information they want or there will be a long legal battle that could end in damages briefing and a decision by the summer there is a lot of uncertainty in these discussions which makes it even harder to guess what will happen next in this high stakes legal fight the xrp community is waiting and guessing while the ccvs ripple case is still going on the runnies that jeremy hogan's xrp friendly law advisor felt is a reflection of how most people in the xrp community feel many people agreed with what he said about his worries which suggests that they are all worried about the odd silence surrounding the court such lack of communication has made people in the community unsure which has led to worry and guesswork about what might happen and the cc's plan in this state of uncertainty a well known crypto expert's view adds a bit of hope people in the community are hopeful because he said that the cc's lack of action could mean that they are aware of the possible losses they could suffer from ripple though things are unclear the idea that the sake might be thinking about shifting its attention to something else is a glimmer of hope it's a guess but a hopeful on that temporary comes the xr community by pointing to the possibility of a solution or a change in the law's course as well as the upcoming price increase of our favorite cryptocurrency what is hidden behind this creepy silence uh, has the sec forgotten about ripple and decided to forget all the main things people said about it or is a sneaky plan being made behind the scenes to hurt everyone who owns xr people allow me to explain people in the xrp community are speculating about the cc's intentions especially since they have a history of focusing on making money a uh, common belief is that these cc actions are often influenced by their desire to get fined or settle claims because of this history some people are wondering if the long legal fight against triple is just a way for the regulatory body to make money this kind of talk is similar to how the ck has been seen in the past with financial charges or settlements being seen as their main goal this makes people wonder what their real goals are in this case people in the community disagree about the strategy of taking longer to complete legal processes which makes buyers worry about how it might affect them 
many people are worried that the long legal fight between the CC and Ripple could hurt investors and make the XRP market less stable and predictable. People think that this approach will take too long and could slow down the market's growth, making investors nervous and causing price changes. Some people think um, that prolonged uncertainty could make people less likely to invest and slow down the general growth of the XRP ecosystem. This has led to discussions about the possible effects on investors of these prolonged legal maneuvers. What will the people in the Ripple group do about this? And their holders' minds must be uh, with fear and chaos, or do they still think rationally? Let's get started. Think about this. SE's long-term plan has become a big topic of conversation in the XRP community. People start to talk about what might happen next after the ongoing legal fight, and the possibility of an appeal is taken into account. This option looms like a big question mark, making people wonder what the CC plans to do next after the current litigation phase over. People are both looking forward to and trading how the SEC will handle the case in the long run, especially if an appeal is granted. The idea from crypto expert adds a strategic factor to this conversation. It stresses how important it is to speed up the finding and briefing process if there is going to be an appeal. This strategy insight stresses how important it is to speed up the legal process so that it can get to the appeal stage quickly, if that is what. According to crypto expert, moving quickly through the system is important because speeding up some parts of the case could be very important for putting Ripple in the best possible situation in case of an appeal. But the XLP community is struggling to make sense of the thick fog of uncertainty surrounding the Sekhi's plans and what they might mean for Ripple and XRP investors. This vagueness has put a shadow over the community, leaving them with a lot of questions and worries that haven't been answered. In spite of this lack of clarity, people in the community tend to be careful. The air is slightly skeptical, which makes people very careful. They try to find their way through this complicated web of legal and governmental unknowns. There is a lot of speculation going on with different ideas and guesses being talked about and analysts in the community forums. Every change or lack of change adds to the speculation, creating an environment where every detail is carefully studied and every hint is carefully analyzed in the hopes of getting a glimpse into what will happen next. Being cooler up to date on the on, on news is the only right thing to do. Because of the seek, we should be ready for anything. Online, both good and bad news could uh, spread and completely change the situation. What are your thoughts on that? That's the only question left. Do you still think XRP April will go up? What do you think will happen? Write your thought below. This video has now come to an end. Thanks for seeing it. Thank you for reading. If you liked it, please click the like button. Leave a comment with your thoughts or questions. And most importantly, don't forget to follow.